welcome back and welcome to day 20 of advent now it feels extremely close to christmas now doesn't it when you hit that 20 number now i'm coming to you quite late in the day actually because uh, we've been at christmas shopping and uh, yeah and it's basically evening meal time sort of so i'm gonna have to do this rather quickly um but yeah hopefully you'll see something you enjoy so i'll do the advent calendars uh, and I'll talk about what I've completed, what I'm up to, and something that's come through the post. Well, actually, the eagle-eyed in you might be able to spot one of the things that came through the post at the very, very end of my video yesterday. But as it happens, I did a split screen, and one half was a photograph of my husband and I in front of a Christmas tree in Warwick Castle, and the other side was actually the thing that came through the post. And the reason I put it at the end is because I was going to show you during the video, and then I'll totally forgot but there you go that happens doesn't it so let's open the backstitch calendar first so here we go number 20 oh it's some thread and i'm guessing it's the recycle now i don't know if it's the um the spool that's being recycled or if the thread is made from something um recycled i don't know entirely because i've not really i've not bought these myself so i don't know but i'm very familiar with gutterman i do have many of them but it's a nice shade of blue which should be a lovely one to add to my collection, especially as I like sewing like nautical things in the summertime. You, you know, they're handy, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think I've got a shade of blue like that, actually. So that's great to have. So I'll just pop that there. So I'll go to my ideas calendar next. Now, I've got um, a confession with the um, the thing that I shared at the end. My box was damaged and I've got it here actually and the sticker wasn't attached and the contents actually fell out. So, unfortunately, I do know what it is and it's gorgeous. But do, do not worry, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers because it is a surprise. So don't worry. But yeah, it's been ruined for me because when I got it out, that's what happened, unfortunately. But never mind. So, um, 20. I can spot it quite quickly, actually. There's not many left, is there now? So I just have to look at all the ones with washi tape on, which I'm glad I took the washi tape off now, actually. So, okay. Oh! <gasps> wrap your gifts wow actually um i have done wrapping already and you know sent gifts on but uh, we've been christmas shopping so yes we're going to have a lot of wrapping to do but my husband and i actually discussed it today and we said we do not want to be wrapping because we were exhausted with our day yesterday and shopping today we're truly exhausted so no, we won't be wrapping today but maybe you've been doing some wrapping <laughs> It's kind of an ongoing thing, isn't it, really? So I'm going to do the Barbie calendar next, and then it will be the prim. 20 is down here. I don't, I'm thinking maybe a skiing item. I'm not entirely sure. She's had the boots already and now the helmet, so. Oh, well, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. They weren't ski boots. Because we've got ski boots. No way. So they were just pink boots for when she does her bakery career. I've had a lot of trouble getting those out. It fills me with dread because when things go wrong, I've got more editing to do. So <laughs> never mind. Right, I'll pop those onto Barbie. I'm afraid the, uh, the nice platform heels are coming off. There we go, ski boots. Now these might have to come off if she gets a ski outfit. Um, I might have to take those back off again. But yeah, she's start. She's looking rather strange at the moment, isn't she? Half a pop star, half a uh, skier. <laughs> so I'll pop those shoes into the box. As I say, I've been putting all the spare things for now into here. And prim. Oh, it's here. Can you see it? I thought 
there wasn't anything in there then. Oh, I'm wearing my um, sweater by Nina Lee. South Bank sweater, the cropped version. Oh, it's a thimble. A rubbery one, a purple and white one. That feels very comfortable on my finger. Oh gosh, I've got some good news. Do you want to see something? Can you spot it? Yes, basically, uh, do you remember I found my wedding ring, which I was delighted, but I did know where it went roughly. I just had to have time to rummage for it. Well, I was loading my rings onto my little ring, because I've got two ring holders, one I keep on my dressing table, one on my bedside, but sometimes I put hair bobbles and things and bracelets and things on them. Well, I've got a thermometer thing on my bedside and it had kind of, my engagement ring was behind there. So it must have been that I'd gone to attempt to hang it on there and it didn't go on, it fell behind. And then I thought, well, where is it? It must have fell off my finger. So it didn't fall off my finger after all. So now I've got all my rings back and I've got something. Well, I don't know where it is right now, but you know what I um, wrapped up? Has that camera dropped again? My goodness. Sorry about that. It's getting worse, isn't it? Um, I wrapped up my ski glove in my husband's Christmas present because the one glove was here and I couldn't find it anyway. Well, I hadn't used my hand, this particular handbag in a while. It was only the other glove was in my handbag. So I hadn't wrapped it up after all. So I've actually given those to my middle son because he'd been saying he could quite like some ski gloves. So yeah, so he's got them. So I've basically been reunited with my gloves and my rings all in a short space of time. It's like everything's come together nicely, hasn't it? So that's great, isn't it? So is that everything? Prim backstitch, yes. Barbie, my ideas, yes. So we can talk about some exciting things now, can't we? So, yes, the thing that I forgot to show you was my secret surprise by Cool Craft thing. But as you might be able to see, my sticker is hanging off. And the, the box was a bit dented. I've kind of pushed it back in, but the things fell out. So I did see what it is. So yeah, I don't worry. I'm not going to reveal anything to anybody. But yeah, it's really, really nice, really exciting. So yeah, I'm really, I'm kind of glad I know actually. So, um, but yes, I understand people might want to open it Christmas day. So yeah, that's fine. So, but I did know last year i did it i opened it on purpose but i wasn't going to this year i was going to be really good now um i finished my crochet monster right now you've seen the the holly berry monster so it's got like a, a berry head green body this is by toft it's crochet and you do kind of like funny arms that are meant to be like holly leaves so that was the one and it was a part of a two set that i got from toft now i said i've got this in the black friday sale but i'm not entirely sure maybe i got it during another sale but i tend to wait for the sales but this came basically in this bag with the supplies you need to make it and a pattern And that's the two of them there like that and uh, and i've made both of them now so i'll just uh, pop them now what i do is i don't like to ruin these cards so i put them in my printer i kind of scan it in and i make it a four so then i've got a big pattern that i can just draw draw all over look so that is what i've done with that actually here's the pattern for my daisy monster as well i've put that inside here so, so here it is so my little um holly monster now has got a little friend rowan you said it needs a little friend so yeah i've got the two of them now so uh i just i must admit that one's head looks a bit bigger maybe i've stuffed it more or maybe i've basically they are two different patterns so maybe the red head is a little larger so yeah i've got the two of them now so they, they look sweet i've been putting the one this one in my tree so i'll probably put both of them in my tree now so and i still haven't decorated the tree it's criminal isn't it but in the scandinavian countries 
it's tradition to um decorate your tree um on christmas eve anyway so yeah i'm not going to worry too much and um i had an email from arnie and carlos they've released a new ball is it an ice skating ball um i had that email today but um, i haven't purchased it at the moment but um, I, i'm sure i've got an ice skater one but um i don't want to purchase it if it's the same as the one i've got so i just want to double check if it isn't i might purchase it off them it's only about two pound fifty so it's not like mega expensive and it actually gives you the pattern for the ball as well the basic pattern you know so you can make a plain one with that pattern if you want to as well so so that is basically what i finished now my work in progress on the knitting front is obviously my frog now i did take a quick photograph of my frog just before i came downstairs to film and i'm working on the first arm now so it's really exciting now i have i told you that i'd started the sweater when I was a bit stuck waiting for eyes and I'd done the one by one rib in an alpaca four ply drops in a, like an off white but unfortunately I haven't got anything good for the contrast for the stripes and I don't I don't really know what colour to match it up with it without seeing them in a shop so I'm, I think I'm going to knit a cotton sweater where I've actually got the cotton yarns and if I don't like it I can always knit another one can't I you never know it might fit one of the Barbie dolls I could always I can probably find another a per, another item that wants to wear it anyway or that I like on it so um so that is on the knitting front now the sewing front I finished my Christmas crackers so my intention next was to make my um thing that I want to wear on Christmas day now obviously the weather's a little bit up and down at the moment so I'm going to check the temperatures and um yeah I make a decision and then I'm thinking will I have something I want to wear on my bottom half with this item so I might end up wearing what i wore for christmas dinner last year the gl the glittery jumper but I, yeah i might end up making this jumper i'm not entirely sure it's kind of like um quite a lightweight jumper with a, a low round neck and things so it could be dressmaking that i do next or i'm thinking i might um, make something tilda christmas next um, on my sewing machine because i know i've got well, I was thinking the ice skater that Sharon sent me, um, but I have got a sleepy Santa. So I am tempted to make, I've got the kit to make it. That I've had for quite some time. So I might make this sleepy Santa next because that's more, no, is it, yeah, because that's more seasonal. Where I know that you might think, well, a figure skater um, Tilda doll is very seasonal but for me because I am a figure skater it's an important thing for me all year round isn't it so yeah so I could leave that one till after Christmas but yeah but I haven't totally made a decision and obviously it's when I get time to sit in the uh, at my sewing machine I get more knitting and crocheting done because I do have to sit down sometimes in the evening and that's when I get the crochet hook out or the knitting needles because I can kind of relax at the same time. Now, now I've finished my crochet project, I always like to get something started. And the next thing is going to be probably that cabin set, that thing I bought in the Black Friday sale this year with the little the little mug and the hat and the sweater to go with the cosy cabin doll so yeah i think that's going to be a very big project it might not be done this side of christmas but yeah it's something i'm going to be working on next so it might take a bit longer than these have taken me to do and to f um to finish off um today i will leave you a, a little video at the end with the music which i haven't actually done yet but i will do it um i've had a delivery of yarn which i did tell you that i'd ordered and it's the Rowan wool and basically this is what Arnie and Carlos use to make their advent sweaters now I have made one of the sweaters once before and I used um a Stylecraft Live Special yarn so it's got a mixture of woolen acrylic and a woolen for the for the neck and the cuffs and the the pen band and I embroidered number 14 well 
I Swiss darned 14 into it and some little love hearts and I use it to put on my wooden uh, doll um, you know like those little wooden drawing men uh, for a valentine decoration holding the heart knitted balls well basically that i've only knitted that one and it's a plain one but this is to make the color work ones and these are the actual colors they used um on their sweaters so if you've been watching them and they've got all their little sweaters and um, that's what I'm going to be making and, and they're going to all look exactly the same as theirs because I, I just chose what they said in the pattern. But obviously this, you know, is a, an advent thing. So hopefully I've got all year to try and make these. So yeah, wish me luck making those. So anyway, that is where I'm going to leave you today um, because obviously we have all got to eat. But um, I'm sorry that it's not quite as exciting as yesterday's video when I took you out to Warwick Castle. But, that you know, these things happen, um, you know. But anyway, so thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.